Hi, it's your girl back for another video. Very excited right now because I finally got one of those things that you plug onto your windshield where you can film videos and not have to hold your phone. Um, and I just want to apologize for not making a lot of videos lately. Right when I start getting, you know, quite a few subscribers, I slow down on the videos. Just want to apologize and let you all know I am not going anywhere and. Um, I'm going to start making a consistent amount of videos every week. i just been extremely busy. But anyway, this video is going to be about men going their own way. That is a movement right now. It's called uh, MGTOW, excuse me, driving through a, a construction zone. So men going their own way, and a few people asked me to comment on that. So I'm just going to say... I am not surprised that a movement for men going their own way exists now. If I was a man living in society, and, and again, I need to make this clear, I'm speaking about Western society, because there's too many little smart asses that keep on saying, well, what about women in the West, uh, East, Eastern, Middle Eastern women? What about them? I can't speak on women that I don't know personally. I don't live there. I don't know what's going on there. I only know what I see on TV, and that's not always accurate. So I'm not speaking on them. You know, they can speak for themselves. I'm speaking for women over here, Western society, where I live, what I'm familiar with. Back to the video now. It's no surprise that men started going their own way. And again, if I was a man right now in Western society, I would be extremely, extremely afraid to get a woman pregnant. I would be afraid to marry a woman. I would be afraid to commit to a woman in any way, shape, or form. I'd be extremely careful, you know, if I did sleep around to do it very carefully, not get anybody pregnant on accident. Um, I've seen women destroy men's lives with children, with divorce. You know, I've seen women that go out to a bar go home with a man that they just met, hardly know, sleep with them unprotected, and then the next day feel guilty about it and try to say that man right there. I've seen all these things, okay? And I've seen women be ex-girlfriends and ex-wives make a man's life a living hell, okay? And I know a lot of women can say, well, what about have you ever seen men do this to women? I have. I've seen men beat women. I've seen a lot of things that men have done. However, the numbers are so much greater with what I've seen with women do. So, okay, I'm not saying every man out there is, is uh, you know, got a little halo over his head. That is not true. However, the numbers are just so much higher when I'm speaking about what women are doing. You know, so... I have a lot of female acquaintances, uh, I have had a lot of female friends in the past, and I've known them very personally, I've known what you know goes on in their lives, and even though they put on this facade that they're good women, and they, they do the, you know, the right thing, and they don't sleep around, and they don't cheat, and they don't do this, I'm going to be honest with you, most of the women, the majority of the women that I've known as uh, acquaintances, and you know, so forth have cheated uh, do cheat and do seek the attention of other males and that's just you know being honest and here comes a fire truck sorry guys sorry I know that was loud but yeah so uh, that's why I, I speak about this stuff so much and in my opinion, I don't believe men and women are equal. I don't think that uh, we were not biologically designed to be equal. You know, in nature, every other male and female is not equal. The male has his duties, the hunter, the gatherer, the protector, you know, and the female has her duties to typically uh, always to give birth, to protect the young, nurture the young. Uh, breastfeed the young, raise the young. And I know we're civilized, but I still think that our duties are fairly
the same as it was supposed to be in nature and such as I believe that uh, women were made to make babies women um, were designed to give birth and we're supposed to be the nurturer we're supposed to be more emotional naturally and a man is typically more stronger um, tougher um, that kind of thing and that's just how I see things I think we have our own roles and we need to stop trying to you know as a as women I think we need to stop trying to be something we're not and I think that is going to ruin our society not only ruin it but it's going to cause our species to die out it, it really bothers me when I hear women say we're not made to make babies how sexist but that's that's what we do we're here to give birth we're here to continue our species and you know do it in a way that our species is going to be stronger the next generation prior to the one before it and that's just the way it is uh, it's just really sad that women just can't accept their role it's like they're lazy they don't want to how dare you ask them to cook and clean for their family how dare you ask them uh, you know to not go open up their legs to a stranger how dare you you know those women that are out fighting for equality they're not fighting for equality they have equality they're 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 out there fighting in the street because typically they want to they want to have the right to kill their own baby because they want to sleep around they want to go and be a whore and sleep around and and do it as many times as they want and they want to be able to kill the baby that is a product of them sleeping around every single time they do it and if you threaten to take that away from them they go crazy they freak out okay because right now with uh, the Trump administration they're against abortion I'm so grateful for that I'm against abortion I think it's disgusting if you want to sleep around women you want to be whores go have your uterus taken out okay go take you some birth control or go have your uterus taken out there is no reason to kill an innocent baby that has not done you a thing okay we need to address the responsibility aspect now that's what those women are out there fighting for they want to be lazy they don't want to cook and clean and they want to be whores and that's just the bottom line and I do not blame men for going their own way in fact if I was a man I'd be joining y'all in this movement so I don't blame y'all one bit so that's gonna be it for the video see you back on my next one what's up everybody it's your girl back for another video so in this video I'm going to be doing a second take on my men going their own way video. I'm hoping I can clarify some um, different things in this video, some of the questions I was asked in the comments and some of the things you all commented on. <clears throat> first and foremost, in my first video I stated that men going their own way was a movement. My apologies on that because I have a better understanding of it now. It is not a movement. It is just a lifestyle men choose to live to protect themselves from um, the destruction of marriage, having children today, committing in relationships. It's men looking out for themselves, not trying to impress women, and um, you know, not committing anymore. And it's all due to feminism and the fact that the average Western woman today is a complete narcissistic, vain, unfulfilled, selfish whore, and that's just the bottom line. Um, men going their own way does not affect me directly. A lot of you were uh, saying that I'm trying to, you know, say these things to get male attention and, and, and this and that and trying to act like I'm on y'all's side and this and that. The thing is, I've been married for 10 years. My husband and I will celebrate our 10th wedding anniversary this September. So <clears throat> men going their own way doesn't affect me directly. I have a husband. I've achieved that and I'm very, very grateful for that. But again, um, the whole feminist thing affects me directly and that's why I do these videos. Men going their own way is, is, the, is the result of feminism. Feminism has destroyed women. So um, another thing that was said in the uh, comments was, that I'm a single mother, I have a car seat in the back, don't trust her, and this and that. So I wanted to clarify that too. I never said I wasn't a mother. My husband and I do have two children together. 
Um, I have a son who was two. He was sitting in the back, and we also have a young daughter. Um, never denied being a mother. I'm very proud to say I'm a mother. Being a mother is um, my most important job that I have, and I'm very, very um, proud of that. And I love my children very much. So I never once said in any of my videos that I'm not a mother. But I'm not a single mother. I've never um, been a single mother before. My husband and I do not have children from other people. We've never been married to other people. So neither one of us have any outside baggage. Um, it's just me and him and our children. So um, back to the video. Men are going their own way to protect themselves from the average Western woman today. And I just wanted to speak and say um, feminism doesn't just affect men. So you men are going your own way to protect yourselves. But I've also had to take um, certain steps to protect myself from the, uh, the modern Western woman as well. And that is, I, I don't have to date them, but there's another aspect to it. I'm faced with the fact that I can't have any female friends because of the way women are today. I have been through so many um, female friends and female relationships on a friendship level. I mean hundreds and hundreds of them and every single time I've had a female friend she has stabbed me in the back was jealous of me tried to sabotage me competed with me every one of the relationships typically ended up bad so to protect myself from it today I choose not to have any friends I choose to I stay to myself um, I do not have any you know like true deep friendships with women I have a lot of female acquaintances but I do not um, you know get into anything real personal with them you know it's just um, like I said it's just an acquaintance I don't have any real female friends I don't have any girlfriends that I feel comfortable enough to call up and say hey you want to go to the movies you want to go take the kids to go do something I really can't stomach being around the average woman today after about five minutes I just can't take any more of it I can't take the things they talk about I can't take the things that um, everything they talk about is just stupid and it's it's there's no depth to it you know the stuff that they worry about you know I'm not concerned about buying these expensive ass coach purses and all this stupid stuff that they spend their money on and you know at the end of the day the only thing that really matters to me is my husband and children is being a good mother and a good wife that is the only thing that has real importance to me anymore not material not um, you know reality shows not uh, social media I cannot stand how the average woman today all she cares about is her social media accounts taking her stupid selfies trying to impress and compete with other women on there um, I really can't stand the fact that the average woman today has children from different men and will use those children as pawns to control the father to get money out the father to get money out of the state um, I cannot stand how you know women will marry a man just for um, financial support and status and you know cheat on him divorce him and try to take him for everything he has you know it's no wonder that men are protecting themselves and have started to go their own way like I said in the first video if I was a man I probably would be practicing that lifestyle as well because as a woman women are messing me over I can only imagine how hard it must be to get into like committed relationships with these women I would be scared to death and one thing that really frightens me the most is we do have a two-year-old son and someday he is going to date women and I am scared to death that he is going to get a woman pregnant and she is going to uh, hold that baby over his head not let us see the baby unless we pay up I'm so afraid of that kind of thing it's almost so bad that I almost don't want him to have children. I know he has the right to do what he wants, but I'm scared for him. I'm scared that if he gets married, a woman's going to try to, you know, take him for everything he has and steal all his money. I've seen that happen so many times. Um, I'm just so, so frightened for my children um, because of this feminist stuff. You know, everywhere I go out, like if I go to the mall with my kids or if I go to my husband and I go out to a restaurant on a date or something when you observe and you see women you know out all you see is them on their phones like taking selfies and on their Facebook and you know it's like uh, 
I mean, that's all they care about today. And if you go to the mall, they're all piled up in those stores trying to buy those expensive handbags. And um, it's just crazy, man. That's, that's the kind of stuff the average woman worries about, worries about. They're not worried about, excuse me, sorry about that. That was the radio. They're not worried about um, being a, a good wife and a good mother. In fact, the average woman today looks down on a woman that cooks and cleans for her husband. I can't tell y'all how many of my female acquaintances that have told me something because when they come to my house, my house is spotless and I always have a home cooked meal. Um, I always cook every single day. And that's how I was raised though. And they will criticize that, oh, I'm not doing that. That's just ridiculous. He can make his own food. You know, he needs to do his own laundry and that kind of thing. That's how the average woman thinks today. Thank goodness I was raised by my grandparents. And let me just say this. Feminism, um, from the very beginning, I formed a bad opinion about women because the first woman in my life that was supposed to put me first, nurture me, and take care of me was my birth mother. My birth mother wanted to abort me. Um, I think she didn't because she didn't want to spend, you know, three, five hundred dollars um, killing me because she would rather go spend that at the mall and on herself. So when she actually did give birth to me, she, like I said, she contacted the state and had them come pick me up and she didn't want anything to do with me. And she still to this day um, uses her looks to get different men and she's always been taken care of by men. She's never had to work or do anything except look pretty and she gets whatever she wants. But I learned early on that women cannot be trusted and I've been scarred for life from the very, very beginning. So that's why I do these videos too. I'm trying to speak out on the truth. You know, this stuff is really going on. Um, believe it or not, in the comments, I have came across a few women that actually agree with me. That makes me feel good to know there's other women out there who um, do have my views and agree with me, you know, on all this. So that does make me feel good. The ones that get highly offended at what I say about women are the ones that um, act exactly the way I say women act. You know, it's always the ones that get extremely offended about what I say. That's the ones that you got to watch out for. But the women on here that actually agree with me, they probably are um, real good women because they're not getting offended by what I'm talking about. But there are a very, very small amount of them out there that are still good. So I guess that gives us some hope. But anyway, I hope that clarified some things for you all. If you have any questions, um, I will try to answer them as best as I can. And please subscribe and like the video if you did. And I'll see you back in my next one. Bye. Cette fois-ci, tu t'échapperas pas, espèce d'enfoiré. Je t'en supplie, me tire pas dessus. Je suis pas marié, moi. J'ai une vie formidable.